Hello there, CNCHD here with a quick update on the issues with the Steam release for Command and Conquer Generals and Zero Hour. So there have been quite a lot of issues here reported, as expected, and this video is there to show you a few guides on how to fix these. So the first thing you can do is in your Steam page go to your library, on your game click on discussion and in the discussion you will see a few guides and you can uh, also go here to guides there are a few guides here's some really good guides by uh, Jude and some other good guides here also with the mods and stuff so I, I advise you go there and check them out I had a look here and this looks really great but here in the discussion there's one by Legionnaire. Legionnaire is the developer of Genpatcher and Genpatcher is the key tool which you will need to fix your game. So Genpatcher gets you a bunch of stuff to fix your game and all you need to do is click on this link. It will guide you to the and here you can click to external site it's okay it's not a virus. Here you can um, go to your language you want to, you want to choose English, German and uh, so on. Just download the latest version here, unzip that. With that being run, just click yeah and yeah, just watch that thing do its magic. Once that's complete, you will see this window. And this is very important in this window you need to click buttons. Don't just look at it, but you need to click buttons. So here I would just say apply the fixes. This will increase my game stability and compatible with Windows 11 and 10 and reduce chances of mismatch happening when playing online. And it will also give you the gen tool installation. I already have it, but if you don't have gen tool, this is also a very neat tool created by the developer Xeson and it will install Gentool for you. So these two buttons you need to click. Just click on it. It will do its magic here again. Watch how it unfolds and installs all the great stuff on your PC, which will save you so many hair on your uh, head. Okay, once that's done, so apparently here um, something wasn't working with my game ranger, which is okay. Uh, for me at least, but you can also read through the guides which will also help you with, here with setting up Game Ranger. I can highly advise using Game Ranger as there are a lot of games here being played and you can just join them and play. If someone says you are italic, then it means your name is italic and this will mean you will not be able to connect to other people and you will have to um, open up a few ports in your firewall or your router or something like that. Okay, so this is one of the fixes. This is the main fix you will need. You can also get the additional content here like the Control Bar Pro. I highly recommend to get that thing. Just click here on install and it will do again all the magic for you. Really highly advised to get that thing. It makes your game look so much better. You can also choose here between HD bar by Exile and the default bar if you want to change back to your default one. You can also choose here the resolution. And you have a bunch of other tools here. And you can get the enhanced world builder. I am for example using the one by I Love Mixery, I believe. Can't remember anymore. I, I'm using one of these two. It really makes your experience with the world builder better. So get these if you want to build maps. You can also get additional maps. It guides you through the online stuff. But yeah, the main stuff is here. Click the buttons and you're good to go. There's also a guide on Game Ranger. Uh, Game Ranger. <laughs> game Replace. I mean Game Replace. By our beloved Nickname. And Nickname posted a bunch of stuff on how to play the game on Steam, how to play online, how to get the game. It's a bit of text. Don't be don't be scared to read through it. It guides you through everything you need to know. For example, here at the beginning, the gen patcher. 
with a video to Jan Patcher, then how to play Generals Online on official servers by Legionnaire, like I said, the creator of Jan Patcher, and a very nice guy, 20k subs on YouTube, go sub to him, go leave him a like there, leave him a, a hug. Then we have here another video by Legionnaire, how to play online, then we have Dominator. Dominator also a really nice guy with almost 40k subs, holy crap. That guy is killing it. He has also a really huge collection of nice guides and uh, tips and tutorials how to play the game, how to get better at the game, how to play online and so on and so on. And there are a bunch of discords also here being linked. I highly advise to visit the one of um, Community Outpost, that is this one. Because there's also a tech support and this is really active here, being used uh, and supported by Community Outpost. They host a yearly live event, really cool guys and you can get your tech support here if you want. There's also a bunch of other forums you can get your tech support from. So I hope this helped and I um, hope this will fix your issues with the Steam release. And yeah, this has been your CNC HD and we see us on the battlefield. Goodbye.